Hi, John from Lincolnshire again. Um, just a quick video about apple tree grafting. What we're going to do today is have a look at the whip and tongue graft. Um, I don't know if you can see this, I've drawn a little diagram here. If I only can make it up. The whip and tongue graft uh, can take one or two forms. If the um, scion wood and the rootstock are about the same length, then you can go for the uh, a similar setup to the one on the left. Failing that, if the um, sign wood is smaller than the uh, rootstock you can go and like join it on the side which is the one we're going to be going for um, so let's press on and do some of that okay then just a quick chat about what we'll need to do this um, as most people know you, you need a, um, a sharp knife in this case I use a Stanley knife um, the, the ferociously sharp there no need to sharpen them when they're blunt you use the other side of the blade when that's gone, you put a new blade in it. Um, we need some tape to bind up our um, our graft. This is just some uh, standard tape. It's not parafilm or anything, so it will need cutting off. Whether you use the, you, you use this sort of tape or slices out of a freezer bag, um, that sort of plastic, it doesn't really make a difference. The tree doesn't know anything about about the differences, so uh, it'll be fine. And then finally, we need some some wax to uh, seal it up with. This is some. Um, some wax I've just been heating up uh, in a can so that we can put it on as and when we need it. I'll probably have to reheat that before we get around to using it. The other most really important thing to have, a label. Um, without without this, you you can have some real problems. Get your label written out before you do your graft, and then you're all ready to go. Do the graft, pop the label on, put it to one side, and then there's never going to be any mistake later on. Right, let's get cracking. Okay, right. Here we go. Here we've got um, a piece of two-year-old MM106 rootstock. Um, I've had it uh, healed in in the garden for the last uh, month or so. I've just dug dug up a few uh, to uh, finish off grafting today. Um, so there's the rootstock. Here's my cyan wood. So what I'm going to do, this is a variety called um, Royal Jubilee. So what we need to do is a sloping cut across the sign wood take off that end and a chorus we're going to need a corresponding cut across our rootstock so we can just hold it up to see what sort of length we need okay let's give that a go what we need to do is just take off that that layer to expose the cambium. Yeah, that's that looks good to me. So the next thing to do is to cut the tongues. This is the bit where you can do yourself some real serious serious damage. What you want to do is of the length you come a third down, then you're going to cut back to yourself. Be very, very careful. You you can easily cut yourself. If you interlock your thing, your thumbs, you've got less chance of doing that. Oh, we'll just give that a go. So, go in and just cut along. Like I say, just be so, so careful. If you see I'm using a nice rocking movement, I find that's a lot easier than a big pull. Because if you slip, you can slice your finger open. So that's the rootstock done. Sign wood. I say about a third in and nice rocking motion here we go Ooh, there you go you sort of slightly slip a little bit there then you insert the two tongues together like that there we go fantastic so hopefully my, my fingers aren't in the way so you can see that the tongues are interlocked well, that also the other benefit of that one it gives it stability, but the second one that I found is that it um, also gives a bigger contact area between the two uh, the rootstock and the sign wood. Next thing to do is we need to tape it up. Like I say, I'm just using this uh, this plastic film, this plastic uh, that I got, but you can use um, like I say something out of a piece of a freezer bag or any other plastic like that but like I said the tree doesn't know anything about it um, the only thing you've got to be aware of is that as it as it grows you will need to 
so cut it off and loosen it off. Um, there we go. Let's just come back down to the bottom. Some people just loop loop it round on itself and tuck it under. I usually do a little knot like this because then when I want to come and loosen it, I, just, I can just cut through the knot and, and unwind the tape. Um, then I don't have to cut through the tape and damage the tree. Trim off the excess. One, two. Right, next thing, wax. Right, my wax has gone a bit hard. I'll just heat that back up again and I'll show you uh, um, applying the wax onto there. Back in a mo. Okay, we're back again. I've heated the wax up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it, leave three buds on and then just cut after the third bud. Then at least you've got three chances of it taking off. So I'll lose that across there. Right on with the wax. So I've melted it in my tin. Um, I've actually used like a George Foreman grill in the greenhouse. So uh, that'll uh, just give me some heat just to uh, melt the wax. Obviously it's no good if you're out in the field and uh, you may want to use uh, one that you'd have to heat up like 10x. Right. Most importantly, get some on this end. Seal that in. Some on the end here. Super. So, last but not least, put our tag on. I've uh, done it in both pencil and in uh, marker so that we, uh, if one fades, the other should keep going. Right, so that's it. One whip and tongue graft. Um, why the whip and tongue graft? Well, it's the. Um, it was a graft that the good folk at the Northern Fruit Group taught me a few years ago when I first started getting into um, into apple trees and I've had a really good success rate with it um, so I've always persevered with it and um, and kept going so anyway it's another tree, Royal Jubilee um, I'll show you what I've been doing over the last few days, just hold on here we go, here's, here's some I did earlier, this is uh, yesterday's uh, graft in all in pots ready to um, to grow off for for a few weeks in the greenhouse. I, last year I planted, um, I did about 50 grafts I think in my garden and uh, the 10 that I left in the greenhouse grew on really well. The 40 I put into um, in the ground uh, didn't grow off quite so well so I'm going to give it a go see how we get on all in pots this year. Um, the biggest problem I'm going to have is when they actually grow into trees where I'm going to put them I'm not overly sure. I think they're all going to be destined to, um, to be grown on in cordons. Anyway, I'll do a follow-up video um, as and when these uh, grow off and we'll all see how the graphs are taking off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.